Hey everyone, it's Miranda and we're the Crafty Owls. Today we're going to make a, another Christmas card. And this one is going to be, um, the card front is going to have a picture of a fireplace. Or it's going to be paper pieced together. And it's going to have a fireplace with some stockings. It's going to be really cute. So I'm going to just show you in sure cuts a lot how I created all of these cut files. Okay, for the stockings, I'm going to zoom in for you here. So you can just scroll around. Okay, these are the stockings, and um, you can do as many as you want. And basically what it is, is it's two circles and two rectangles, and you're going to want to arrange these the circles right next to each other kind of up in whatever angle you want the foot of your sock going. So if you want the foot of the sock going straight, then put the two circles straight. Um, if you want it just a little bit slanted, just put the second circle right above. Um, and then you're just going to take a square or a rectangle, it doesn't matter, and you're going to angle it so it cross for the, the top is going to go from the top of the circle to the top of the circle and then the bottom is going to go from the bottom to the bottom and then all you got to do is take another rectangle and go straight up from that circle just to give you you know like the top part um, the part of the stocking that's um, like a traditional stocking I guess it would be red and then there would be like white fur on the top and this is what the fur is, or just the different cuff color, and um, I cut those out all in white, I'm going to cut them out all in white, and um, then you can just layer it right on top, here I'll show you real fast, so you can just grab that, and as you can tell that's just two circles, see that'll perfectly sit on there, that's just two circles connected by one rectangle. And the fire is actually a comma, and I'm, I can't remember what font it is, but for the base of the fire, it's two commas. One, they're mirroring each other and kind of overlapping, and then I have an oval um, on the bottom, just kind of connecting it, unifying it. And then I have another comma, which that will just kind of layer into the fire and create the different colors. Now the actual fireplace, this layers underneath here, and so that's how that fits together. Um, this will be a brown. I'm not sure what this color will be yet. And then for the text, I'm not sure what this is going to be, but on the front it's going to say, and the stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and on the inside it's going to say, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. So I'm going to cut that out, and then we'll put it together. Okay, so I cut out all of my pieces, um, except for the letters. And I just decided that that was going to be way too many letters to keep up with and keep them in a straight line and everything. Um, so instead, I just printed it out, and I used the um, font Sago Script. And I like this font. Um, I think it's kind of cursive and Christmassy. I like it. Um, and my card base is white, so it's not going to matter too much. Um, so it's going to be a little bit easier. Now, the first thing I need to do is glue all these stocking toppers, or whatever you call them, to the top of each stocking. Um, and the great thing about this card is, if you're going to mass produce it and send it out, you can do as many stockings as you have in your family, or as many as the receiving family, or you could just do it at random, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to glue these down now um, to the stocking. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on each. I'm just going to set it there just for a second. And the reason I'm doing this first is this needs the most drying time. Just so it's super simple just to put it on there. 
and that's what makes this project so simple is just the paper piecing is just so easy. And see, with Sure Cuts Lot, you can just make things, and they look like they came from a cartridge. And um, if you just know just some basic design techniques in Sure Cuts Lot, you've got it. Okay, so I've got those, and um, I'm just going to set those aside. And now I'm going to do my card base, and I have this, and it says, And the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. So what I need to do is I need to make kind of a mark where that's going to go. You can just do this with your fingernail. You can do it on both sides. Just like that. And so I'm just going to Actually, I'm going to roughly cut it first, just to get some of this extra paper out of the way. Because that's a big thing, is just getting the extra paper out of the way. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of glue to the card base. Very minimal glue. Just like that. Let it down just a bit. And I'll line that on there. And I'm just cutting along the space. I'm not too worried about the warping paper simply because I am covering a lot of it up with that um, fireplace. Okay, so now I'm just going to start. Um, assembling my fireplace on there. And the first thing I'm going to do is glue this down. That is your first main part. Um, this is just the inside. I decided to go with the cream. Um, it just kind of came down to that was the best coordinating color. I'm just centering that, and now I have this, and um, I'm going to use some of this 3M tape. I used this on my last video, and I'm just going to cut a few rectangles. And I'm going to put them at the intersections there and then on the ends of the legs. And then just remove the backers. And stick that there. So you've got that popping up a little bit. Now I'm going to use um, a little more of this glue and just apply down the fire 
or the base of the fire. Now I'm just going to use a little more of this foam tape for the orange part. And if you want, you could even go in to do um, a smaller one on the inside that's yellow and just add all of the colors. I thought with the stockings, I have plenty of colors on this card. And now I'm just going to apply the stockings. And you're just going to want to kind of arrange them first. Get them on there how you want them. Okay. And you can do them all the same color or traditional Christmas colors. It, it doesn't matter. That's another thing. You can coordinate it with um, your family, what their favorite colors are. Just some fun ideas there. And I'm going to use a little more of this tape. I'm going to do some pretty thin pieces. One more. And I'm just going to apply it. right into there And the last one here. And so now I've got um, my little stockings on there, really cute. And you can anchor those down with some more, but I kind of like the look of them. Um, so this is the finished card. Thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe. And have a great day. Bye.